What is up y'all? I'm Jordy. Today I'm gonna to be playing a Glalie team that I built. Now, is Glalie good? No. Anyway, my mom sent me a shiny Glalie in Pokemon Go, and so I kind of have to use it. It's not very usable, except it is the bulkiest moody user, as long as you're not doing the Power of Alchemy muck trick that everyone knows and loves. Uh, so I'm just, I just bulked it out, and I made the bulkiest possible team. We got Screens Grimmsnarl, Intimidate Fakeout Incineroar, uh, Fakeout Grassy Surge Rillaboom for some healing, Ogre Pond with Follow Me, and then just all of those synergized really well with Gudra. So we also have a Gudra here uh, that can heal it up with Life Dew and set itself up for some sweeps. Now this Glalie, it has Sheer Cold because that's the only way it's really gonna do damage. But if you get a good special attack boost and they're weak to freeze dry, you might as well throw that. Uh, and then protect and disable just to troll and to stall as much as possible. This team is ridiculously good if you're really lucky. So if you're the kind of person who can walk into a casino and know you're gonna walk out rich, play this team. You will have tons of fun. But anyway, uh, let me show you how it does in some battles. Okay, we've got Rillaboom, Annihilate, Electabuzz, their own Grimmsnarl, Mousehold, and Primarina. What is our plan against Mouseape? What is my plan against Mouseape? Is it Gudra? No, Gudra can't beat Ape. Uh, Ogre Pond Redirection, that's what it is. Ogre Pond Redirection and Throw Sheer Colds. Got it. That's the plan. Okay. Now, Electabuzz, their own screens. Their own screens won't matter much. I'm not too scared of that, since most of my damage comes from sheer cold. I like that they don't have much damage on their side. Uh, I think I want... I want something for their Rillaboom. Either my Gudra or Incineroar. I'm leaning Incineroar. They're both bad against eight. <laughs> uh, but maybe Grimmsnarl could be last. It's pretty good against Ape. Or my own Rillaboom. Rillaboom is pretty good against all of those. They're probably going to set the grass themselves. I think I would like to have screens, though. I'm going to go with that. I don't hate Gudra that much, but I don't think it's a Gudra game. And plus, if I'm playing this for y'all, I'm going to be playing lately. Ooh, nice card. Shiny Bear. When are we going to get Shiny Blood Moon? Okay, Grimmsnarl. And the mouse? Hmm? What's this? This is a swap to Incineroar and a... Protect, because I don't know what's going on. I'm not about to get pop bombed. Or if I am, I'm intimidating you first. Alright. Alright, Feliferno. Get their attack stats down. Protect, just in case. Like, I want to throw Sheer Cold right away. Yeah, they're putting up Reflect. Yeah, I'm not doing damage that way. And a taunt into Incineroar. Okay. I get it. I guess you're not Pop Bomb. I was worried about nothing. Speed Raise. Special Defense Down is fine. Let's fake out the mouse and let's shear the cold. Into mouse? Like, I was thinking maybe I should just. Maybe I should just hit the mouse. Maybe I should just hit the mouse with the freeze dry. No, light screen's going up. It's sheer cold. Are you Terra ghosting now? Really? Okay. You better have something real important to do. Are you just gonna taunt my Glalie? Are you actually the pop bomb set the whole time? What is it? Parting shot out. Yeah, I'm not using those stats. It's fine. I could have sheer colded you. I didn't know you were gonna do that. 
You didn't put up light screen. Do you not know Glalie's a special attacker sometimes? I'm probably the only Glalie that exists on the ladder. You probably wouldn't know that. I can't read that. Oh, it's eight. Oh, are they going for beat up? I missed the sheer cold. And they go straight for beat up. Okay, cool play. Cool play. Uh, so I need to get rid of that mouse. ASAP. Defense raise is excellent. So it's just a knockoff, and... I guess I'm gonna protect Glalie. For now. I think they're trying to come after Glalie now. And they might, they're probably just going to follow me, so I would throw a sheer cold at the 8. But they're just going to follow me. Knockoff won't take them because of the reflect. And then we'll see what boost I get. Oh, the red eyes stare. These are some spooky mons out here. Why is Glalie not a ghost? Just protect yourself. It is just a follow me. And your drain punch isn't boosted, so that wouldn't knock out Incineroar. You do go for it, though. Wow, that did a lot. Okay. Oh, yeah, well, crit. That explains it. Now give me a crit. Crit this knockoff, and it's fair. Special attack raise. Okay. No, I don't want a parting shot it. I want to go into Grim Snarl and freeze dry. Cause I am at plus two defense, so I think I can take a Drain Punch or a Rage Fist. Rage Fist would be way stronger, so I'm not worried about terastalizing. Alrighty. This is the follow me, but I have a special attack boost now and a speed boost, so I'm gonna go first, I'm gonna freeze dry, and Glalie gets a knockout. There we go. There, there's my crit. Should have saved that one for later, Glalie. And it is Rage Fist into the Glalie, which we eat pretty well, actually. We can take another one of those once Reflect goes up. We could also disable it. Special Defense Rise. And Defense is down a bit. Ooh. Okay. Maybe Terastalize Disable? We know they have Grim Snarl, which isn't very threatening. get up our own Reflect now, presumably. Probably disable the Rage Fist. And then start throwing Sheer Colds. So send out what you got. It's not gonna be grim, I'm guessing. Unless you want Light Screen for the special Freeze Dry damage. We'll pick something. It is just Grim Snarl. Okay. All right. Then I'm happy with Reflect. Do I Terra? It could be Rillaboom. Yeah, Reflect, Terra, Disable the Rage Fist. Now don't do something silly like go for Protect and then I can't disable you. Yeah, 
The Terra will protect me from Drain Punch. The Disable will protect me from Rage Fist. Nothing will protect me if they just, like, go for bulk up here. <laughs> then we're in trouble. Alright, no more strong moves from you. Thank you very much. Haha. -ha. And you just attack into my grip. Okay. Well, that did a lot. Why'd that do a lot? Special defense up again. Special attack down. Alright, do we have damage yet? No. Neutral special attack. In that case, it might be good to get Ogre Pawn in for some redirecting. And just go for Sheer Cold. Wait, I already used the Sheer Cold? Oh, they know I have it. Better watch out! Sheer Cold is definitely the way I'm taking out your aid. So either I hit, or I never hit. Wait, you went for... Wrong screen. And a miss. Ah! That's two misses, Glalie. You're overdue. But now I can start redirecting some stuff. And if you want to stall with Protect, I just get more leftovers, ticks. Attack Rise is useless. Special Defense, I had enough. Yep, throwing another Sheer Cold. One of these will hit your ape eventually. I'm hoping. I'm due. I've missed two. The third one will connect. That's what I'm telling you. The math works out. Come on, Glalie. Come on, Glalie. Come on, Glalie. We do not want to get hit by a boosted Drain Punch, Glalie. Honestly, they should protect here. I don't know if they will, but they really should. They didn't. Okay, great. We're gonna knock you out with sheer cold now. Yeah, after, after you parting shutout. I would like to see your last. I would love to see that you don't have Rillaboom. Please show me that you do not have Rillaboom. Or show me anything, really. Oh, that's great. That is not Rillaboom. Oh, come on, Glalie! What are you doing? Glalie, you need to hit that. Oh, Glalie, it's getting important that you hit that. A good defense rise, though. I'll take that. Good defense, positive special defense. Last turn of disable on that eight, so it needs to go. I'm gonna Ivy Cudgel that thing. And I'm gonna throw another Sheer Cold. I cannot keep missing these. Oh, uh, they protected this time. All right, you're gonna get some damage off. I get it. Uh, is this gonna be, what, like, Electroweb or something? So you're trying to be faster? Oh no, they taunt the follow me. Okay. I get it. That did no damage. <laughs> Let the buzz. You crazy! Okay, now I cannot follow me. They are not disabled. I'm very fast, though. Okay. What's the situation? They have follow me ready to go. I do not. I could go to Grimmsnarl and protect, but then I can't disable their Rage Fist because they'll follow me. So I should still Sheer Cold Ivy Cudgel. That's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Why didn't you follow me? <laughs> oh, 
but yeah, get your Thunderbolt off, whatever. That didn't even do very much. <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh, Glalie. Alright, let's see if we can bring this home now. <laughs> An attack right, we don't want that. And special defense down, we really don't want that. <laughs> Alright, they're locked in with their last two. Let's go to our Grim Snarl. And let's put up light screen. Uh, we still got turns of reflect. Uh, do I have defense boosts on Glalie? I would like to disable, I do. I would like to disable Thunderbolt. So this one's going out to Grim Snarl. And I'm gonna disable your Thunderbolt. <laughs> it's cancelled! Yes, Glalie, yes! Alright, Glalie versus a really cool team! Archaladon, King Gambit, Pelipper, and then those three! <laughs> Alright, uh, Spirit Tomb, Great Tusk, and Wochian. Wow! Okay, this is a cool one. Um, what is Glalie afraid of? Glalie is afraid that it's going to have to tear a water, but then become weak to Electroshock. I think I want to lead Glalie no matter what. It actually seems pretty decent here. There's a couple freeze-dry targets that can actually take a bunch of damage, and then two steel types that'll have to get sheer colded. Um, Incineroar could be a problem. If I bring Incin and they get them boosts, I could be in trouble. Uh, Gudra seems good against their two steel types. Ogre Pond can't touch Wo Chien. This can't touch Wo Chien. Wo Chien might be a problem. Okay, I think I want to put up screens. I want to have Gudra. And then what's most important? Uh, I do have high horsepower on Rillaboom. Ogre Pond can redirect water moves. Okay, it's not Incineroar. It's one of the grass types. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. I think fake out is better than follow me here. Alright. That's what I'm going with. Um, was it the right choice? I don't know. But it's Glalie, so bringing Glalie was the wrong choice. Oh, I am Feroz. Sick. Okay, you've got... Yeah, alright. Good thing I didn't bring Incineroar. That is King Gambit and Great Tusk. I'm gonna have to... I don't see any problem with just protecting and setting up a Reflect. Just right away. I could then maybe consider Parting Shot out on the Tusk. But I would like a Defense Boost, Glalie, if you're, if you're into that. If that's what you're feeling. Uh, close combat straight into Grim Snarl. Ow. I did almost half. Watch it. And an Iron Head into Grim Snarl. They don't want Grim Snarl in here. Okay. I could have just attacked with Glalie. They don't think Glalie's a threat. Oh, it's a Life Orb King Gambit. Special defense up. Defense down. Not good. <laughs> Alright, it's gonna be Rillaboom. We're gonna fake out from the close combat. And we're gonna disable the Iron Head. Or I could tear a wa- no. This is the way. Disable. Fake out. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Yep, they just protect, that's fine. I'm just fishing for boosts here. All right. Disable connects on you, and tell me you were trying to go for Iron Head. You were, haha. -ha. Speed raise. Love it. Oh, but the special attack is down. Okay. Well, now. 
Is the protect so obvious that I shouldn't do it? Do I need Terra on Gudra? Not particularly, except for the Tusk. So I'm gonna use Terra here. Just throw a sheer cold at King Gambit. And wood hammer the Tusk. I'm hoping the Terra plus Reflect should let me live a close combat. The Tusk was at minus one defense. Maybe I should, should have considered Glide, but I don't think that does it. Alright, we put the water on the ice. We, we melt we melt the Glalie. Ah, no sure cold. Okay. Close combat. They did go for it. Oh, that did not very much, actually. That's cool. And we get our wood hammer. You're sash. Alright, that makes sense. You have protect. And that makes sense. And then cow cow cleave. No, not my Glalie, no! <laughs> it did nothing! It didn't do anything to you! Oh, they really doubled Glalie on a turn I could have protected. Huh. Alright, Gudra, I guess it's all up to you now. Gudra the Great. We're gonna shelter up, and then we're gonna... Well, we're gonna Grassy Glide, but... A uh, Spiritomb is a problem. Spiritomb can probably beat Gudra, if they have it. Let's hope they don't have that. Is Grassy Glide too obvious? Probably, but it's still my best play by a long shot. Because a Body Press eventually will Oko King Gambit. But that thing's gonna do way too much damage to Gudra if it gets a move off. And we do get the shelter before King Gambit moves. That's great. Yep, just leaving my Rillaboom. That crits! Okay. Well then. Okay, uh, I have no choice now. I'm gonna get hit. Oh boy. Okay, swapping King Gambit, that's fine. Uh, do you have Spiritomb? Because you just win if you have Spiritomb, probably. Yeah, you do have Spiritomb. Yeah, I'm gonna assume you win, but I'm not gonna stop. Because that did nothing. All right, one down. Um, maybe you don't have Will-O-Wisp. Maybe Heavy Slam can knock you out eventually. Oh, and it's this thing. Let's see what Heavy Slam does into Spirit Tomb. Hello, Wo-Chien. You're probably gonna go Terra Poison or something, I bet. You're just here to cause problems. Yep. Let me guess, uh, Ruination or Leech Seed? Or both? Terra Ghost! Oh, that's even worse! Ah! Alright, they were ready for Gudra. Got it. Shadow Sneak. Into Wochian. Weakness policy Wochian? <laughs> okay, okay. Your, your team is sick, my dude. And you use Ruination anyway. Your weakness policy, but you Ruination. Alright, I'm out of here. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, there's, it's unwinnable. <laughs> uh, GG. Alright, we're fighting a Farigarath, Thunderclap Bot, Blood Moon Bot, Incineroar Urshifu, Water Ogre Pond. 
That's a really scary team. They got Trick Room. They got Urshifu. Maybe Dark. Who knows? Uh, does Gudra do well here? Mm, it does okay. They got two really strong special attackers, though. Uh, maybe Light Screen plus Gudra could do okay. Body Press hits everything, at least, unless there's a Terra Ghost somewhere. So I don't hate Gudra. Uh, Glalie is coming, because that's the rules. And I need screens. Can they deny screens immediately? I guess they could. They could also deny priority, so a fake out lead isn't gonna work. So it's gotta be a screens lead. Uh, that Urshifu... I guess Gudra beats Urshifu, so I shouldn't be too concerned. I should really be concerned with how I'm gonna get rid of Blood Moon Bear. Uh, and I may need to tear a Gudra. Who does good into the bear? Uh, I guess Ogre Pond or Rillaboom. Rillaboom has the special defense boost automatically. Ogre Pond wouldn't get it automatically. So I guess it's Rillaboom. A little bit of healing for Glalie would be good too. The fake out and the glide aren't going to be useful. It's just going to be there to click wood hammer and hope it works. Though there could be a world where we just sheer cold their Ferrigraph and then they don't have a Ferrigraph. Oh, a sloth, nice. Rigorath and Water Urshifu. Okay. Terra Water, Sheer Cold. Simple, simple play. Um, we confirmed that they're Water Urshifu, so I don't think Gudra needs the Terra. Yeah. Terra Water, just so we don't die. Throw a Sheer Cold at Fergaraf, because that would make my life so much easier. And then... I can Light Screen at any time. I think I'm gonna Spirit Break the Urshifu, actually. Get some damage on that. Okay, they might just be going Terra Water. Uh, if they're going hard at Grimmsnarl, maybe I should have put a screen up then. That could be pretty annoying. But hopefully they're just gonna throw Surging Strikes at Glalie. Because Glalie can take it, believe it or not. Glalie is a beast. Alright, you are going Surging Strikes. And it is at Glalie, yes. About 36 damage. About 36 damage. That does a lot of damage, honestly. But we take it. We do, in fact, take it. Uh, we miss a Sheer Cold. That sucks. Spirit Break does about a quarter. I was hoping for more. I didn't know you would tear like that right away. And you set up Trick Room. You set up Trick Room, and now I'm gonna get a speed boost, because that's just how that works. Special Attack Rise, that's great. Special Attack Rise is excellent. That means I can freeze dry you. What was the drop? Attack? Y'all, that's great. Freeze dry. Let me make sure I read this right. Special Attack is plus two. Yes. Dry Urshifu Light Screen. The screen is up. And so is your Urshifu's time. Psychic Noise is gonna block our heal. So Glalie is basically done. But we're taking something with us. Bye, Urshifu. And bye, your Terra. That's great. Now give me a special defense boost. Thank you! You're listening! You're listening! Yeah, I'll trade that special attack. Um, does it matter though? If it's just like Ursa Luna, then I don't think it matters. But I guess the play is to protect, just to stall out some Trick Room. 
and Spirit Break because I don't think there's a point in Reflect. I could have Incineroar or Ogre Pond in the back, but... I think we can take a hit from Ursaluna. You don't have Terra anymore. I guess Helping Hand Blood Moon would do a ton. But I think you would want to hit Glalie. Oh, Blood Moon right into Glalie? Oh, I love that. Thank you. And then just ask, yeah, whatever, that's fine. I've got light screen up, that's not gonna do much. I'm just trying to stall out. That, that did decent damage, honestly. And you are weakened. Yeah. And the heal block is now over. And a defense rise. Special attack dropping. All right, Glalie is at plus two special defense behind light screen. But I think this double up still gets us. There's no reason not to just throw a sheer cold. And I guess another spirit break at Ursaluna would be best. Oh, they withdraw Ursaluna. All right, we're gonna get a turn off with Glalie for sure then. And they bring in Ogre Pond. Are you sure? We can freeze dry that. Another psychic noise. We take 26 damage. So we are in KO range. But show me a sheer cold land. That would be funny. No! Alright, give me a speed boost then. And then this is the last turn of Trick Room. Wow, are you're listening! They're really listening! It's the last turn of Trick Room, we got a speed boost. We just protect and then we can freeze dry the Ogre Pond. That's great. Uh, and now it is time to set up Reflect. Glalie, you are amazing. But will we want to freeze dry Ogre Pond is actually a good question. because they would just want to set up Trick Room now. I think I should just take advantage of this speed boost to get a sheer cold off. Defense Rise doesn't really matter at this level of HP. Oh, and our special attack is now negative one. I don't know if Freeze Dry does it. Yeah. It's a sheer cold now, into Farigarath. Uh, I guess they could redirect that. That would be a little annoying. Four turns of light screen. We still have some good answers to their to their bear in the back, honestly. Uh, could I disable anything? I can disable Horn Leech. It's not very useful. And they might just follow me anyway. Yeah, sure, cold and spirit break. Oh, they just spiky shield? That's great. Hit the sheer cold. Ah, <laughs> Man. Alright, we got the special attack drop on Farigarath, and they just set up the trick room. I'm sure they want to bring in the bear at some point. Glalie's actually starting to heal now. I could protect and bring in Rillaboom if I wanted. <laughs> the speed drop. <laughs> We're at plus one speed. No way are we slower than an Ogre Pond. Yeah, no, eh. I guess it's possible, but no. They'd have to be like max speed. Uh, I think just protect. Honestly, Protect Bring in Rillaboom isn't bad. That's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, I can't use priority moves to stall out, but... This is gonna make it a little bit harder for them to bring in the bear. And stall out your second Trick Room, because I cannot seem to hit a sheer cold in this game. It's fine, though. It's fine. We've taken one knockout. And Glalie is not yet gone. And now, Rillaboom 
should be slower than your Ogre Pond. Rillaboom heals after Ferrigarath, but before Ogre Pond. Excellent. And Glalie is definitely out of Psychic Noise range. Another just special defense raise, just to make sure. Alright, how is Glalie doing? Oh, that is some... St those are the stats I want, too. Yes. Oh, that defense is sky high. Alright, Sheer Cold the Ferrigarath, and... I'll oh, Woodhammer the Ogre Pond. Like, they could Spiky Shield, sure. But that's stalling out your own Trick Room, so... Yep, just a psychic noise under Rillaboom. No more healing for you, Rillaboom. Oh well. You got a knockout. I'm happy. Now, the fourth sheer cold of the game. Has to connect, right? Okay, I guess I don't know how math works. Because that should have worked. <laughs> And I still have Gudra, too, which is a problem. Uh, defense rise, special attack fall, that's fine. Alright, I think they have two turns of Trick Room left. Yeah, so I'm going to... T plus six defense! You don't need that anymore! Plus three special defense, half health, light screen is up for one more turn. I think I'm happy to Sheer Cold for Rigorath and Wood Hammer the Bear. Yeah, that's what I want to do. Hyper Voice doesn't do anything to anybody, but you get your throat spray. Well, you're gonna take a Wood Hammer. Psychic Noise does negative zero to Rillaboom. Which I found out is not a real number. Woodhammer takes the Ursa Luna. Time to turn off your console. Or, let me hit the sheer cold finally. I'm due. I'm due! Glalie! Glalie, you're sweeping them by never hitting. How are you doing this? Alright, this is where they forfeit. And this is, well, I throw a sheer cold and I get back into my screen user. Another special defense raise. And the speed fell finally. Three more sheer colds. If you want to keep playing, I'm going to hit you with one of these eventually. And they don't want to keep playing. Good game, Glalie, uh, but bad accuracy. All right, we are fighting Fluttermane, Urshifu, Raging Bolt, Rillaboom, Fire Ogre Pond, and Amoongus. Okay, the most annoying thing for Glalie is that they have Bolt and Rillaboom if I Terra, and they have Urshifu if I don't. And if Urshifu is dark, which I don't think it is, that would be annoying too. Glalie is gonna have some trouble. Okay, who's good against all of those? Incineroar. So it's Incineroar Glalie. Yeah, that's it. Incineroar Glalie. We need Grimmsnarl for the Bolt. Oh, Rillaboom has a ground move too. Uh, and then is Gudra good here? They've got Spore, so Ogre Pond might be good. They've got Fluttermane, so Gudra or Rillaboom might be good. In fact, what do they really have that beats Rillaboom well, other than their Ogre Pond? I think it's going to be Rillaboom. Get some healing on the Glalie. Um, I'm going to be honest, this is a better game to bring these three and Gudra, but I'm bringing these three and Glalie. Because, I mean, this is Glalie. You know what, if we hit all the sheer colds we need, this will be an easy game. So we'll just do that. Yeah. Yeah, I got this. The plan is hit a sheer cold. Oh, cool card. You got a friend. And then hit another sheer cold. And then uh, probably one or two more sheer colds after that. And, and then we'll be good. Alright, Water Shifu and Fluttermane. 
very much not a fan. Very much not a fan. We're going to Rillaboom. We're gonna Terra Protect. We're not gonna double swap. Oh. Oh, I don't like this lead. Oh. I brought Incineroar for all the things you didn't lead with. Okay, we got Fake Out. Fake out Sheer Cold. Why not? It's a taunt. Oh, okay. I'm attacking. Believe it or not. Ah! <laughs> Speed Rise. I can do it again. Spadef Fall. Ooh, risky. Very risky. Do I do it? I wish Freeze Dry was strong enough to just take Urshifu, but I know it's not. Alright, I'm doing it. Bringing in Rillaboom, the Tower Master. Get out of the way, Flutter! Your ear's too big. And we're terrestrializing. So now both of our things can take a surging strikes. But I'm worried about the special defense drop. If they go for like Terra Moon Blast, or maybe even just regular Moon Blast, we have a lot of special defense drops now. And they have taunt. Okay, they scarf surging strikes. Didn't we get a speed boost? Are you Jolly Scarf? Okay, we took that really well, actually. And we miss another Sheer Cold. Oh, Moonblast into Rillaboom? Thank you. That's great. Okay, now Glalie cannot protect, but show me a special defense boost. Or a special attack boost. Another speed boost, and a special defense down. Okay. Woodhammer, get out. Yeah, there's no way... Okay, let me check this stat. Are you 112 in speed? Yeah, that's a jolly scarf, Urshifu. Okay. So there's no way Urshifu's staying in. We're gonna woodhammer this, and we're gonna get out. Uh... We're gonna switch second. No, we got another speed boost, so we're gonna go first. Yikes. Alright, it's Incineroar. Glalie, you can still do some stuff later. I believe in you. You got your sheer cold misses out the way. In the late game, you're gonna come in and just devastate them. I could have disabled Moonblast, but I don't know how much good that would have done. And a Moongus. Yep, yeah, they do move. Oh, a crit! Incineroar! This Incineroar likes getting crit a lot. I don't know. It must be a personality thing. I need to get another Incineroar. DM me if you got an Incineroar that never gets crit. And Fluttermane is gone. Excellent. One more threat neutralized. Rillaboom is... Took a lot of recoil there, man. They got HP on that Fluttermane. All right, what you got? What do you got? Because I have a fake out turn, and I know your Urshifu is Scarf. So you can't bring in Urshifu. You have to show me the last thing. Oh, you are showing me Urshifu. Um, that's bait, right? You're baiting me. You're gonna go out to one of your three grass resists. You're gonna 
Para Uramungus. This is a really bold play, but I'm doing it. Please pay off. They U turn. You're telling me you were gonna let me fake out that? Wow. And they have Bolt Lash. Okay. So I'm glad I brought uh, Grimmsnarl in the back. But I hope you're not Rocky Helmet. Just a little bit of chip for you. Ooh, and it is Rocky Helmet. Now, hopefully, Incineroar, you've got some attack investment, Incineroar. You can do it. I believe in you. Yes. Okay. Now we just have to navigate this awkward scenario. Reflect will give me nothing. Unless they lock into close combat. Um, Incineroar should be slower. Yeah, good. We're not speed invested. Light screen. Parting shot. We'll go last. Probably get knocked out, honestly. But we'll get the light screen up. And then we'll have to hit Sheer Colts. And you can Surging Strikes, which does nothing to Glalie. Um, I would have to play Disable Thunderclap Mind Games. If you close combat, we can set up Reflect. Okay, and show me your Terra. Just Water Urshifu. Hmm, I don't know about that play. Uh, are you gonna take out Grimmsnarl immediately and also like Thunderbolt? You're locking in Surging Strikes. Want to Incineroar? Weird play. All right. And then Thunderbolt does a lot of damage. Okay. Glalie, there's, uh, a lot of people counting on you, Glalie. But we're gonna weaken that bolt. And should I just throw a sheer cold, even knowing they're gonna thunderclap? I think I can take one. And I have to hit a sheer cold immediately. Parting shot. Oh, did they not thunderclap though? Thunderbolt will definitely knock us out. First surging strikes. Come on, Glalie. It's all up to you. That is not doing much damage. Don't run, Jolly Scarfer. That is really weak, actually. Okay, Glalie. Moment of truth. And you let me down. All right, good game. Actually, we live. <laughs> if we get the right boost, I don't know, maybe, because we still have to take a Scarf Surging Strikes. Grass is gone. I'm not sure what boost can save us here. Special attack up, attack down. Yeah, I don't see how we win it, but they don't thunderclap. We hit sheer cold. They do thunderclap. All right, GG's. Good try, Glalie, but you missed three times and then got crit. What can you do? Okay, we're fighting a Rillaboom, Incineroar, Ting Lu, Glalie's worst rival ever, Chen Pao. Uh, the Thunderclap bot, and an Urshifu of some kind, probably water. This is a horrendous matchup for Glalie, so we're gonna lead it. All right. <laughs> That's the way it's gonna be. Uh, if it's Urshifu first, we'll be fine with Terra Water. 
If they have a grass type or an electric type that does a ton of damage in the back, that'll be annoying. But we'll need Ogre Pond to handle that. We have to have Incineroar, otherwise Chen Pao is never going down. This looks like a really good game for Gudra. Yeah, maybe Glalie starts us out and Gudra finishes it. I like that play. Because really, if we save Terra for Gudra, what can stop us? I like this. Um, I wish I had brought a grass type for the Urshifu. But Gudra is really going to be the win con here. Glalie is going to be the early game sheer cold bot. Get rid of whatever it can and then clean up with Gudra. Why is the screen black? Okay, there we go. Uh, nice card. Getting some good luck on cards today. All right, your lead, not Urshifu. Ah, it's Chan Pao and, oh, it's Dark Urshifu. I see. I see. Well, in that case, I'm going to Bring in Grimmsnarl. That should be a pretty safe start. And maybe Parting Shot out into Gudra. Uh, would either of you not protect? Yeah, I'm going to Parting Shot the Urshifu. All right, Glalie, you just happen to be in a place where you couldn't throw a Sheer Cold. I'm sorry. Going Terra! Okay, they're burning Ghost Terra on their Chen Pao immediately. This is okay. I can sure cold you now. But you're probably sad to do it, so I wouldn't probably do that. Ooh, close combat. Plus Sword of Ruin? Yeah, bye. Were you choiced or something? That hurt. Oh man, did that hurt. Than a throat chop. That would imply there's no sacred sword. Which is great news for Gudra, even though we're tearing anyway. This is just a reflect. Terra Shelter. Start getting the advantage. Grimmsnarl will parting shot out and then start throwing sure colds next to Gudra which is a great place to be. Because you want to double target Gudra. You want to get Gudra gone as soon as possible, but you can't do that if I'm throwing sheer colds every turn. So I think we can get into a good position. We're a little bit behind. A little bit behind. You kind of O-code one of my Pokemon from minus one on the first turn. I think you are choiced. I think that's why you left. I think that's a choice band Urshifu. And here's Rillaboom. Okay. I appreciate the healing. I don't have leftovers, so this is really nice. Thank you. Uh, Dark Urshifu can't touch a fairy. Rillaboom won't be able to touch us at plus two. I mean, Woodhammer with Sword of Ruin and Terrain will do a lot, but maybe we can get up to plus four, six. And Reflect. Yeah, you're not going to hurt us. And we're Covert Cloak, so you can't actually fake out our Gudra successfully. And dodging the crash. Wonderful. That would have done some damage. Through Intimidate and Reflect, but still, some damage. Couldn't crit, couldn't flinch. Alright. Who stops the body presses? They already terrestrialize their thing that stops the body presses. But, nothing else can really stop us. Do we want light screen for later? I would like to put up light screen, they might have that. But honestly, I'll just spirit break for now. Spirit break. And set up another shelter. 
Uh, Chen Pao's leaving. Okay. Show me Bolt. Show me a Raging Bolt. Uh, just Tinglu. Okay, do you have, like, Fissure or something? Because I'm going to target you so hard. Yeah, that doesn't work, Rillaboom. <laughs> not that you would know that. That's not a, not a shot at you. I'm just a better player. Okay, no, I'm not that conceited. <laughs> a decent chip onto the Tinglu. I think it's in plus four body press range. And the grass confirms that our Gudra is faster than their Tinglu. Excellent. Uh, there's no need for reflect, uh, light screen, I mean. But there is something to be said about not bringing in Glalie just yet. No, I will. I'll parting shot out here. And body press the Tinglu. They are doing something with their Rillaboom. They did not leave. I was a little worried they might like go into a dark type and then I'd be stuck there. But with two fairies on the field, why would they ever bring in their Dershifu there? And Glalie getting in can start getting these moody boosts. And be all pretty and shiny. Oh, it is one hammer. That was what I was worried about. That didn't do very much though. And your own healing is gonna help me greatly. Ooh, you live. And you fissure! But you don't get it. Whew! Okay. Yeah, I would have immediately lost if that fissure connected. But we're playing the same game. I got sheer colds, you got fissures. We're the same, you and me. And you got leftovers, that doesn't matter. I'm faster, I can KO you. Attack rise is useless. Special defense rise. Drop does not matter. I think I'm going to disable the wood hammer? No. I think I'm going to sheer cold that slot. And just throw a body press at the table. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. They could probably swap in their Chen Pao here. Uh, oh, who wants to take a sheer cold? It's Urshifu. You can't hit them, but I can. <laughs> Glalie, you are crazy. And then our body press knocks out Ting Lu. Bop. Alright, Chen Pao can't really do anything. Um, but their Rillaboom does have its stats back. Uh, an attack rise and a defense drop. All right, I think I might just want to bring Grimmsnarl back in and give another parting shot to that Rillaboom. Uh, we're at plus four defense on Gudra, so I mean, sort of ruin body, plus four body press. Yeah, that Gudra is going to knock out that Rilla. I think we can knock it out. And then, I think I'll fish for like a speed boost or something. Yeah, I'll just protect Glalie, fish for a boost of some kind, and go for the body press on Rillaboom. And battle was just cancelled. Good game! <laughs> Alright, we're back with the code. Glalie is actually really fun, in my opinion. <laughs> it's absolutely not good, but just throwing out sheer colds for fun is a great way to blow off some steam. Uh, if you liked it too, why don't you try the team? The code's up there. Uh, and if you made it this far into the video, you probably like it, so why don't you like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you have, thank you very much. And anyway, I hope you had a good day. I'm Jordy, and uh, alright, peace.